ஹலோ இந்த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ஐ ஹாவ் எக்ஸ்பிளைன்ட் ஹவு டு ட்ரா ஸ்கிமேட்டிக் டயக்ராம் ஆஃப் அன் இன்வெர்டர் யூஸிங் எலக்ட்ரிக் விஎல்எஸ்ஐ அண்ட் சிமுலேட்டட் யூஸிங் என்ஜி ஸ்பைஸ் இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் நாட் கான் த்ரூ தட் வீடியோ ப்ளீஸ் கோ த்ரூ தட் வீடியோ அண்ட் கம் பேக் ஹியர் ஓகே ஸோ லெட் அஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ வில் ஷோ ஹவு டு draw the layout how to lay out the inverter and uh, again simulate uh, using ng spice we'll do post uh, layout and uh, post layout simulation after the parasitic extraction okay so uh, this is the schematic diagram with the na- we have named it as a not not okay so what you have to do is first go to the cell and new cell here you have to give or select layout and same name you have to give it is case sensitive same name you have to give and click okay layout and same name okay so now you can see uh, two files are clubbed now you can expand and see one is schematic another one is it is uh, within the bracket written lay lay means it is layout but it is empty now we have to uh, draw now uh for this one the components will be different you can see here uh the different components are different here in the layer in the schematic if you go there if you go component you will see symbols okay but in layout you will see different uh, layers or different uh, contacts that you will see and also uh this color i have little bit change the color uh, but in the default uh, it will show different color that uh, that to also in windows there is a variation in windows and uh, linux version so that's okay anyhow uh, the color may be different in if you have installed you might observe that color will be different that's okay okay so <coughs> Uh, what you have to do is now let us start with the uh, pmos so there is option called the pmos here click on that and you will get pmos here uh, the convention is uh, source is always above so this side is source and this side is the uh, drain okay source is above drain is below okay so what we will do first select it and we have to give the same width and length let me just see what i have given in the schematic it is 20 and 2 so here also we will select it select the mosfet and go to the edit and properties okay object properties so let us first name uh, m1 and uh, width as 20 and length is 2 and click okay one let me check whether it is m1 or m2 m1 it is m1 okay so then what you have to do is i need a contact for pmos so contact means you have to select p act there is option called p act here you select and place okay and <coughs> and you change its width it is 5 written make it 20 okay and what you have to do is select the mosfet and click on the source terminal and right click on the contact so that there will be con- uh, contact so a contact is created between these two and now you take it near to the you can e- either use uh, mouse to uh, move like this or you can simply use uh key arrow key i feel arrow key will be more convenient so you can easily control it okay so let me okay uh you can save and once you check the drc press f5 there is no error let me see whether if i push it near to the gate will it give error we will see no so now you have made a contact to the source side now what we will do 
we will use a layout uh, style where uh, the all the poly silicon or gate are vertically aligned okay so what i will do first i will select complete this thing complete uh, uh, mosfet and its contact it should be selected like this using uh, mouse cursor you mm, scroll and select this one and go to edit and i want to rotate here totally uh, i would like to have source on the left side usual convention is like the source on the left side so i have to count or i have to rotate it in the anti clockwise okay so that is 90 degree counter clockwise you can see now it has come to the left side similarly i need one more contact for the drain i can do one thing i can simply select this contact and press control c and control v you press you will get the one copy so you no need to go again uh, p act and vary the width all those thing you can directly take okay and here also you do the same thing select the mosfet click on uh, drain terminal and right click on this and now okay you can press f5 there are no errors so that is about the mosfet uh, what we will do now uh, i will just increase the font size of that m1 let it be 3 okay so that it is clearly Uh, visible now now i have to associate uh, parameters mosfet parameters with this pmos so i have to name the uh, mosfet so i will name it as pmos because in the uh, schematic also we have given a pmos so this same step i have to do here also first select the mosfet go to tools spice and in that set spice model so here it is selected so again edit its property it is uh, pmos and let uh, pmos and let size be 3 okay so pmos similarly uh, the same procedure you have to do for the nmos also so i will go to the component click on nmos and place it here and uh, again uh, name it m2 and width is 10 length is 2 2 lambda and uh, this one okay now again here also source is above drain is below and again i would like to have source on the left so again uh, select this one or first you make contact then you rotate that would be better so click on n act now place it here and change its width also let it be 10 and select on mosfet and make the connection okay so let me press once a uh, drc no error and now select hold this thing and rotate counter clockwise okay uh, once i can drag it till the pmo so that whether it is aligned properly or not i can say so it is a uh, little bit on the right side let me move it to the left side i think uh, here Mm. Yes, now it is properly aligned. So let me take back and similar type of contact I want at the drain also. So control C, control V and select the mosfet, click on the drain, right click on the contact. So now take it to the this one and press f5 no issue now i have to if i will change the font size of this one to the 3 so that it is visible clearly and i have to associate nmos go to spice set spice model 
write n mos and let it size be 3 so yes now p mos and n mos both are ready now uh, what next we have to do is uh, we have to uh, connect this uh, p mos will be in the n well so this n well has to be connected to the vdd so i need a contact uh, that connects n well and metal so for that you have to see here there is an option called n well you click on n well and take it here and adjust its width I can even increase okay and uh, connect your source to the VDD so source is connected to VDD okay now this is VDD and I have made this connection okay similarly I have to connect NMOS is the base is the um, p substrate that substrate has to be con connected to ground so i need uh, p well p well contact p well contact mean p substrate to metal so that contact i have to have here again uh, increase its size okay and connect drain sorry source of okay now let us save and let me check once uh, there is a DRC error let me check what it is how to check go to explorer open the error again uh, it is telling the minimum width or height error I think uh, this is to do with this is too much near you can see here so let me select and bring it down now let me check once again mm, one minute let me select this okay save and now let us once again press f5 yes still there is an error mm, I think it is to do with the uh, if I delete this one there will not be any error I think oh, no st error still there is an error mm, if I delete this then let me check yes there is no error I think the error is here at the uh, the n well contact the height I have to increase so previously it was 5 so <laughs> this this one is 20 but y size i have to make it uh, 7 or 8 let me try with 8 now let us see whether the error comes or not now okay let me save and press f5 yes now there is no error so fault was the height of the n well contact was less now again go for p well and q let me make it 20 and here let me make 7 and um, connect it to the drain i think it should be contact should be here yes now let me check once again f5 no no errors found you can read in the message here no errors found okay now remaining is i have to make i have to connect gate terminal so you can see in the uh, schematic uh, in the schematic you can see gates are connected together and drains are connected and here gate click on this and connect it to this okay uh, or you can well, let me take this near to the always remember this resolution if it changes you again you have to set it back to the minimum so that the uh, you can nicely uh, place the all components okay now let me see now whether it is okay yes it's okay now connect this gate to this gate 
and drain should be connected together and now once check whether there is any error no now what you have to do is um, you have to connect now port in the schematic uh, we have not named this as vdd and ground it was by default this is vdd and ground but in layout you have to give uh, name them explicitly and two more no, uh, ports required that is input and output okay so what we will do now at the input i can directly extend this one and this node itself i can make it as a port or better to have a poly and metal contact that is uh, advisable so what we will do we will uh, take there is a contact called poly and metal this this one is the metal and uh, poly contact select it place it here and connect it to the gate okay or i can select this one okay so this one i have to uh, i create a port and i will name it as a, a. okay so it is now i have to let me uh, zoom uh, let me increase the font size a so now it is clearly visible a similarly i want one more contact that is uh, export and make it y capital y it is there but it is not visible let me increase the font size whenever you want to increase the font size select it and go to the object properties so there you can change okay so y okay a and y are named now i have to export this as vdd again export create export and small letter vdd you write you can increase the font size that is we will make it as 5 and this one as the ground create export and call it as ground okay so and uh, select it and make it 5 yes now it is selected okay uh, now we have completed the layout once we will check f5 using any drc no drc uh, next there is a option called tools and ncc and you have to press on schematic and layout now i have to compare this layout with the schematic whether that is correctly mapped whether your schematic has correctly been mapped to a layout or not okay so when i press here if there is a error one window will pop up and it will show where is the error okay Uh, if there are no errors no message will no window will pop up but you will get a message in the message window saying uh, match everything export size everything is matched okay let us try now go to tools ncc schematic and layout you can see here at the message i didn't get any uh, pop up windows that means it is matched you can see here read, you can read exports match topology is match size is match so everything matched if there is a uh, any um, uh, mistake or any mismatch then it will show one window will pop up and show so let me make one mistake and see But suppose if y i have not created if i delete y now if i go and click on ncc you can see now it is telling uh, this is schematic you have two parts four wires and four ports but in layout you have only three ports okay so you can if you click on this you it will show which one is missing in the layout the y is missing okay so then what you have to do is you have to uh, go there and again create a export for that capital y and you can uh, select on that and make it five okay uh, okay control s save once again check no uh, let me once again go lvs yes there is no mismatch okay now uh, i have to uh, extract the parasitics and do the uh, 
simulation so the same spice component here also i need so what i will do i will go there in the schematic click on this one and copy and same this you can paste here layout component and miscellaneous in that spice code so i will place here and here it is a multi line text multi line text and paste and click apply and okay so uh, i can little bit increase the font okay now it is there so here uh, dc analysis i think i have copied uh, dc analysis of the uh, inverter so that i have copied here so first we will see dc analysis Mm, then we will do transient analysis okay so let me save and run spice for that i have to go to tools and spice and write spice tick so then it will perform the dc analysis and it will show voltage transfer characteristic let me check go to the tools spice and write spice deck yes you can see here the this is output and this is a input input is input is swept from 0 to 1.8 volt you are getting uh, it's a post layout um, simulation you can even see the uh, spice net uh, spice code there you can uh, clearly see the parasitics so where are those parasitic capacitance and resistor so let me show once that uh, go to the your folder there Uh, the name not dot spy means it is the spice code of the layout. Let me open it. So you can see here uh, there are many resistance R zero to R twelve, and you have one more capacitance C not. The capacitance which you have added is here C out y um, between uh, y two and zero point five picofarad. That is the capacitance you have added, but the parasitic capacitance is here it is present it is between y and 0 and its value is 1.46 femtofarad similarly you have many resistance connected between different nodes so these are all parasitic uh, resistances and capacitance okay so that you clearly you can see in the spice code spice code generated file okay so let me again go to the um, layout now let us try uh, transient analysis so same this thing uh, first you apply you have to apply a pulse syntax is pulse and within the um, bracket you write initial value final value and initial delay 2 micro and 1 micro is the rise time 1 micro fall time 5 micro width 12 micro period and here analysis is transient analysis you have to write t r a n tran the step size that is 0.1 u and total time 20 micro and now and i want to plot both input and output so plot v of n p of v of y i think it is uh, correct let me check okay let me run the code so spice and right spice deck you can see here uh, we are getting uh, proper uh, waveforms the red color is the input blue is the output so you can see whenever input is zero output is high whenever input is high output is zero okay uh, this is about uh, how to perform post layout simulation and also compare your schematic with the layout and so we have covered Uh, all the design steps next point will be actually you you can convert or you can save your file in gds2 format and you can send it to foundries okay so that's it thank you